Hi, in this video, I will show you how to run Google Chrome without CORS protection. If you're a web developer, you probably has experience with CORS error when you are testing the front end and the API with different domains. So for example, here, I have an application, a very simple one, which is uh, fetching data from a local API. When I try to run it, it has an uh, error. It's saying access to fetch uh, localhost from origin has been blocked because cross allow origin header and so on. So if you want to bypass this, you can do it by opening Chrome with special arguments. The first one we're gonna try on macOS. To open Google Chrome on macOS without CRS protection, you can do it by terminal. First, you tap open minus N application Google Chrome app. And then you put the arcs. And then you need to set the user data deal to a certain location. In my case, I will just put it on home slash Chrome dev data. The last one is to just add the disable web security argument. Okay, so let's try to open it. It will open a new instance of Google Chrome. And then you can use it without the CORS protection. If you see this, it means that CORS protection already disabled. So now let's try it to open the front end again. And now it's working properly because CORS protection already disabled. Next, let's try to open Chrome without CORS protection on Linux. In this case, I'll be using Ubuntu 22.04 for testing. First, you open the terminal and then you can just type similar function like on macOS, but this time we're gonna use the Chromium. So it's similar with macOS, but instead of uh, opening Google Chrome, we're gonna use Chromium like this. So type the Chromium and then select the user data directory and then disable web security. Now let's try it. It's gonna open a new Chromium window with disable web security argument which means you can now test your front end and back end without CORS error. Now let's try it on Windows. On Windows, there are two command line interpreters. The first one is the PowerShell, which is uh, the default for the modern Windows. You can just open the terminal and then it will be using PowerShell by default. To use the PowerShell, we need to type dot first and then space and then you enter the installation location of Google Chrome, which is on program files. And then you set the user data tier. In this case, I will just put it on C, Chrome Dev Data. And then the last one is disable security. Okay, now let's try it. Now it's opening a new Chrome window with CORS disabled. Now you see that disable web security is on. Another option is to open Google Chrome without CORS by using command prompt. First, open command prompt. And then just paste the command like this. So C program file, Google Chrome, and so on. And then the user data there. And then also disable web security. It's similar with the PowerShell, but we don't need the dot for the first character like in PowerShell. So let's try it. Now it's open successfully. Uh, you see the flag disable web security here. That means that it's now opening without the CORS protection. So that's all I can show you how to open Google Chrome without CORS. Now you can develop and test your web application without any issue locally. Of course, you need to change your code to handle CORS in production, but for testing and development, it should be enough. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time.